You're watching WMAR 2 News. 12 misplaced flash drives containing votes on them have been found. Today, election workers will continue to count those votes along with the mail-in ballots starting at about 10 o'clock this morning. One of the races that still hasn't been called is the Democratic race for governor. Campaign organizers from Westmore and Tom Perez's campaign both observed the counting. You can see Westmore's lead dropped slightly by 2%. Yesterday, he was leading with 37% of the vote. Now he's leading by 35%, and he's still ahead of Tom Perez, who remains in second place. Perez went up by 1% to 28%. That's 37% more than Peter Franchot, who is currently in third place with 21% of the votes. And three days after the primary, another undecided race is the one for Baltimore City State's attorney. Incumbent Marilyn Mosby remains in second place. So far, Ivan Bates still has 41% of the vote. This puts him 9% ahead of Mosby and 14 percentage points ahead of Theroux Vignaraja. Back in 2018, Mosby defeated both Bates and Vignaraja, winning her second term. You can follow this race and others around the state on our website. Just open the camera app on your phone, scan the QR code on your screen, and it will take you right to our website where you can find this interactive map along with our election guide. Drivers traveling north on the inner loop of 695 between US 40 and I-70 towards Catonsville might want to give themselves some extra time tonight. Emergency paving will cause lane closures from tonight through early tomorrow morning. The paving is being done to ensure pavement safety and ride quality following milling operations and recent heavy rains. The work starts tonight at 10 o'clock with about single lane closures and double lane closures around 11. Work continues overnight until 8 o'clock Saturday morning. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Good morning, Maryland. Well, the heat wave continues. We're going to be topping out in the mid 90s today, right around 96 degrees at BWY and even closer to the Baltimore Metro. You can see as we take a look this afternoon, closer to the three to four o'clock hour, we're going to be feeling like the upper 90s, close to the triple digits, not as hot as yesterday, but still very uncomfortable. Uh, as we head into the weekend, the heat and the humidity will continue to climb. We're going to be dealing with a high tomorrow of 98 degrees, feeling more like 101 and then feeling like 104 degrees out there for your Sunday and we'll be dealing with a high of 100, possibly challenging that record high of 101 degrees that was set back in 2010. Showers and storms early next week. Mark. Thanks, Stevie. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates and for news and weather while you're on the go. Download the WMAR2news app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark Roper.